It's one thing to have knowledge about connection between health and nutrients in a food, but using that knowledge to create a new product is, is an entirely different challenge. Being able to sell our science and technology that we are developing to the industry is also absolutely essential and I think we are making very good progress in that regard. The exciting part is to bring together new teams of researchers. I think, uh, you know, connecting the, the health researchers, biomedical science researchers, and the, the food science. I grew up in Punjab in India, and like any other family, we had in our village two buffaloes at home, so we'll milk them in the morning and make butter and buttermilk, of course. I graduated with biochemistry degree, and when I was doing my master's in biochemistry, I took a course in dairy science and technology. I was completely converted into kind of the dairy protein scientist, and then, of course, moving into the broader area of food science. In High Valley Nutrition Week, we're doing two projects for the science of foods. The first is scanning the horizon, and that's really having a look at what's the landscape like in terms of foods for health. What are the major companies active in this space? What are the major new innovations? Where are the opportunities for New Zealand companies to really make a difference and, and capture some of the market? And the second project starting in September this year is called Bioactive Food Systems, looking at how do we protect and deliver the bioactive components that really give a health benefit to a food. Preventative health is really important in foods. Foods are seen as an investment in prevention of illness in the future. There's a huge amount of noise in the market, there's a huge amount of low value claims and so we need to really differentiate ourselves and produce food products that are such high quality, such premium food products that they cut through all that, <coughs> that marketing guff and put our products right at the forefront of the market. Going into the future, uh, we'll also be looking at developing some technologies that will align with those health, health platforms so they meet their needs in terms of product development. The other aspect of this bioactive food systems project is formulated foods, things like yogurt or bread or, or foods where there are multiple components being brought together by the, the processing. And in that case we're looking to, to really boost the nutrition properties of these formulated foods by adding in natural bioactives. And if we want to add those into foods we have to really look after them. We have to really preserve the, the potency and activity of those because they tend to get damaged or oxidised or destroyed in ways that mean your food won't have the health benefit. Rather than reinventing the wheel, we want to make sure that our research overall for the HBN is actually lead, going to lead to some new products and new processes, new ideas that we can actually commercialize because that is the ultimate aim of uh, HBN. Mm -hmm.